Welcome to the Oconee County Board of Commissioners meeting. Today is Tuesday, April the 6th. If you're joining us virtually to comment during the public comment portion of the meeting, please use the raise hand feature in Zoom. Uh, after a moment of silence, we'll have uh, Commissioner Horton lead us in the pledge. Please stand for a moment of silence. First item of business will be to approve the agenda. I make a motion to approve the agenda as submitted. Second. We have a motion second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Motion carried. Next item is statement and remarks from citizens. This is for anything that's not on our agenda for tonight. Yes, ma'am. Yes, my name is uh, Helen Haynes. I live at 1170 Chadwick Drive. And I just had a brief comment. I would appreciate the five minutes if possible. But um, I had a comment on the March 2nd decision regarding Dave Mulkey's um, stone store, the storage um, house, and the mercantile. In the South, there's an old expression that goes like this. It describes a person's actions in a certain situation. It's called putting lipstick on a pig. The planning staff and their analyses of the stone store location called it what it is never called it what it is, an industrial category business. It's a building materials, masonry, and landscaping supply store with outdoor storage. Section 205.10 under the zoning ordinances lists this type of business as a business whose normal operations and processes would be considered objectionable in other districts by reason of the emission of noise, vibration, dust, smoke, dust, gases, fumes, radiation or other potential fire and safety hazards. For over 25 years, the stone store operated under this appropriate category. A building materials dealer will not be found under any other category in the county ordinances. The planning staff states in their zoning impact analysis, the, stoning store, the stone store has a unique character. Current site makes this property unique. It is located uniquely as you enter Watkinsville. Staff analysis states the stone store will be compatible with retail, office, and service-oriented de development. The stone store in the Civic Center Character District conforms, in quote, more to the retail shopping. The outdoor storage would be part of a retail establishment. I had a meeting with Director of Planning, Guy Herring. I asked him what his staff's definition of retail was. He told me it was the dictionary's definition. My Webster's dictionary defines retail as the sale of goods of articles individually or in small quantities selling directly to the consumer. The bulk of the stone stores products are sold in bulk to contractors, landscaping companies, schools, sports organizations, and individuals with hardscape or landscape projects. Their products are river rocks, crushed stone, sand, soil, mulch, landscape boulders, field stone, palletized river stone, flagstone, snapped flagstone, infill mix, and brick dust for ball fields. This is not a description of a retail business. Even an individual's purchase of gravel or rocks would likely be in the hundreds of pounds. Mr. Herring called the stone store a retail store. He and his staff have created their own definition, very different from Webster's and common usage. I asked Mr. Herring what criteria his staff used to determine their recommendations that you accepted. He said, they're just opinions. They're just their subjective opinions. I asked, were any recent studies on health hazards done 
considering the silica particulate or brick dust of the business that will be 50 feet from a subdivision? No. Were there any realtors consulted or any property surveys done regarding developments contiguous to subdivisions and property values? No. Yet the staff felt qualified to state with a six foot fence and six foot fir trees and an eight foot fence around the storage area, this would be sufficient to mitigate noise and hazards for a neighborhood 50 feet away. Further, they stated unequivocally, in quotes, there will be no negative effect of adjoining property values. No negative effect. The development of this site will only increase nearby property values. That is unfathomable to me. Opinions that can't be supported by facts are worthless opinions. And a building material store that sells masonry, landscaping supplies, and has outdoor storage, no matter what you call it, is an industrial business. That's the end of your time, man. You have put lipstick on this pig, but it still smells, looks, and acts like a pig. That's the end of your time. Thank you. Anyone else? Anyone virtually? Any statements or remarks from the commissioners? No, for me. Uh, a couple things. Uh, this April 4th through the 10th is National Library Week, so if you get a chance to go by the library and tell them thank you for what they do. Also, there will be a Oconee County Mass vaccination event. This is scheduled for the first shot on April the 17th. And this will be from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Registration is required. If you go to our web website, you'll see the link in order to register. Our next item is to approve the minutes. This is from our regular meeting on March 2nd, town hall meeting from March 24th, and the agenda city meeting from March 30th. I'll make a motion to approve all three as submitted. Listed as voting on that uh, Harry with my neighbor. So if you just kind of get the same. Very good. All right. I'll, 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 okay. With an amendment. All right. Very good. We have a motion and a second to approve the minutes as amended here. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Motion carries. Now we move into our hearing uh, and actions on zoning matters. The first rezone is 21-0007. Uh, this is Diane Holly Downs at 1521 Cold Springs Road, 7.22 acres, going from AG to AR. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, commissioners. Again, this is uh, rezone P21-0007, Holly Downs, located uh, in this portion of the of the county, uh, right off of Cold Springs Road, just uh, before you get to Overlook Bridge, uh, this is the overall aerial of the property and the parcel number A04017. Uh, it's currently zoned AG in the country estates character area, and again, the request is uh, to rezone from AG to AR in order to subdivide into two lots and to bring the property into compliance there's uh, two uh, single family dwellings on the property as it is now uh, this is the concept plan that shows the split of the the two parcels proposed parcels uh, with the existing structures and again staff recommends approval with the one condition planning commission also recommends approval with that condition thank you yeah we'll hear from the owners uh, my name's Trey Downs. First, I want to thank y'all for my appointment to the Board of Tax Assessors. I look forward to that. So um, this home was built by Dickens Builders in 2013. We've been out there for eight years. All proper permits were obtained. No corners were cut. Um, so we did everything that we were supposed to do. And I guess apparently at some point y'all changed the zoning. So when my mother chose to give me the land in the house that I live in, we had to spend about $3,600 to have it 
you know, replat, get, have the plat drawn, have the corners and everything marked. So I hope that you will pass it as the planning department's recommended uh, approval for it. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone else wish to speak for this rezone? Anyone virtually? Does anyone wish to speak against? Anyone virtually? With that, we'll go ahead and close the public comment at this time and open up to any questions from commissioners. We'll entertain a motion. I make a motion to approve rezone number 21-00079 Diane Holly Downs, 1521 Cold Springs Road, 7.22 acres, AD. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve rezone 21-0007 with one condition. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Motion carries. The next item is to consider uh, variance number P21-0027 from Kyle. <laughs> I ask you how to say it now, I can't say it. <laughs> uh, 4169 Whitlow Ridge Drive. This is to reduce the setback of an accessory building or proposed attached garage. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Commissioners, again, this is uh, variance P21-0027 uh, located just north of Bishop in the Whitlow Ridge subdivision. This is the aerial of the subject property. It's currently zoned AR in the country estates character area. You have in your in your packets the concept plan showing the proposed uh, garage accessory structure and the distance from the property line, reducing uh, from 15 to, uh, to to eight feet on that side. These are uh, representative photos of the location and of the stru proposed structure. And again, they're requesting the variance from 15 feet on the side set back to eight feet for the detached garage. Uh, staff recommends it does meet all necessary conditions to grant the special accession variance and recommends approval uh, with the one condition uh, that's reduced to only the eight feet in that area of encroachment. All right, Kyle, now you come up. I'm just asking for the eight feet. Um, I've got my approval from my neighborhood and my next door neighbor. Um, I have a letter from uh, both of them uh, with the approval and also from the environmental health um, uh, saying it's all right and that the septic lines and everything are approved and I won't be encroaching any of those. So that's all. Very good. All right. Thank you. I've asked for your approval. Thank you. Sir. Anyone else wish to speak for this variance? <coughs> Anyone virtually? Does anyone wish to speak against? Anyone virtually? With that, we'll go ahead and close the public comment this time and open up any questions from commissioners. We'll entertain a motion. I make a motion to approve rezone, I mean, variance number P21-0027, Kyle Began and Laura Began, 4169 Whitlock, Whitlow Ridge Drive, 0 0.70. Request reduce the setback of an accessory building for a proposed detached garage with one condition. Right. We have a motion and second to approve variance number P21-0027 with one condition. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Next item is to consider one appointment to the planning commission. <clears throat> this is for an unexpired term. Um, I'd like to nominate uh, Courtney Matt Elder um, for the term that begins immediately and expires 9 30, 2023. Okay. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Motion carries.
Next item is discuss and consider settlement agreement among the Oconee County Board of Commissioners and the Ohio Casualty Insurance Company. This has a little history to it, and I'll, I'll just remind everybody. Um, we had a lawsuit a couple of three years ago between uh, the county and the owners of Westland subdivision and also part of that subdivision. And as part of the settlement of that, we agreed that we would allow them to pursue um, collection efforts on four bonds that were posted out there. There's a $91,429 performance bond, $192,278 maintenance bond, a $400,000 performance bond, um, that's on the pump station, and a uh, $83,964.30 maintenance bond on the pump station. The first two were street maintenance and street bond. Um, Henry Parkman, who was the lawyer that we dealt with, uh, with Westland, who's a, a very capable lawyer at a big law firm in Atlanta, uh, vigorously pursued this, and he was able to uh, settle with the surety on behalf of Westland, and that benefits us because that money will go, this money will go toward the installation of infrastructure out there, uh, which is what the bonds were designed to do. Um, the surety has agreed to reimburse the county $91,429 and uh, $400,000. Those are on the uh, performance bond. The way it'll work, that money will be paid uh, I don't think we'll ever actually even have to take possession of the money, but it will be spent by the Westland people and the surety will reimburse them. Um, Henry will kind of act as the, uh, the go-between, keep us fully informed of what's happening. If anything needs to be signed, he'll come to us and ask for it. Um, both of the maintenance bonds will be renewed um, and they will, the, the current surety will pay the cost of renewing those bonds. So it's pretty close to a full win, um, absent that they had to fight over it for you know six or seven months to get it done. So even though we agreed that we would allow them to pursue it because we're the ones that are the, um, um, the beneficiary of the bonds, we have to agree to the settlement. And um, I recommend that the board approve this and that we allow them to pursue it. Thank you. Any questions of Daniel on this? Any public comment? Anyone virtually? Thank you. All right, with that, we'll entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve the settlement agreement by and among Coney County Board of Commissioners and the Ohio Casualty Insurance Company, as stated. Who, who did the second? Chuck. Did the second. Very good. We have a motion and a second. Um, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Motion carried. Next item is discuss and consider a budget amendment for the coroner's office as well as parks and recreation. All right, Wes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, commissioners, uh, citizens of Oconee County. I request tonight, uh, we have a need to disperse some unbudgeted funds, and so I'd request uh, for you to consider uh, a budget amendment at this time. Uh, the two offices that are affected are the coroner's office and uh, he was budgeted for professional services. These are investigation calls, uh, $13,220. And uh, we're not gonna have enough to, to fit, complete our fiscal year. So I recommend at this time, we amend that budget by 5,000 to uh, allow him to continue those, uh, those activities. Uh, Parks and Recreation has a, uh, on a lighter note, has a uh, donation. Uh, for memorial picnic table in the amount of uh, $1,057.70. And uh, they want to uh, call it the Cindy McKee Memorial Picnic Table. And so I'd recommend that um, a request that uh, we amend that budget for that to allow us for that expenditure. Thank if there are any questions at this time, I'd be glad to ask, answer those. We do, we do budget uh, an average for the calls and it's we're just higher than normal there's nothing in out of the ordinary other than a lot of investigation for the county this year <coughs> any questions from the board? any public comment anyone virtually thank you thank you mr chair thank you we entertain a motion at this time i'll make a motion to approve the budget amendment for the coroner's office and the parks and rec department I think the amount of funds for the corners is uh, it's getting said and to accept the memorial picnic table. Second. 
Very good. I have a motion and second to approve the budget amendments as presented. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Motion carries. Does any commissioner wish any item to be removed from consent agenda? No, sir. We'll entertain a motion at this time. Make a motion to approve the consent agenda items as submitted. Second. We have a motion, motion and second to approve the consent agenda. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Motion carries. We do not have need of an executive session. So with that, Commissioner Sack. Make a motion to adjourn. Correct. We are adjourned. Thank you very much.